Let's talk about headlights. So this is my 325 CI. It's from 2005. And uh, yeah, the front end stuff's off. We're gonna check out those headlights. Well, it turns out they mount on a bracket right here. And you know, I took this one off, but something's missing. I knew that. So I ordered what I thought was some new ones. And uh, looks like they'll line right up. And that's really exciting. But you know what? They don't line up. They're wrong. This is for a sedan. And I need the coupe and convertible version. So I go to the junkyard. And I'm super excited because I find a coupe. And attached to the coupe was this headlight bracket. I'm super stoked. So I think, oh my God, I need another one. And you know what? I found it. Oh, well, I found this much of it anyway. And that sucked because the car was right there. And the headlights were gone. And then I look around and I found the rest of it. And I thought to myself, I could buy this bracket for 50 bucks new I could figure out how to rebuild it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plastic weld this little guy back together. All right, so it appears that this piece is gonna go like this. And it'd be really easy to just melt it here, melt it there. melt it back here and here and it'll be done and I think we'll do that but we're gonna put some reinforcements in there too so here's a little wire mesh that I got laying around and I think what we're gonna do is make a little bracing for this cut a little strip like so skinny one and a bit wider one so ultimately we'll have a little strip here another strip up here and then bigger strip will go back there. That's going to stiffen up everything. I'm using my beast of a soldering gun here. This is a Radio Shack one. It's 230 watts or 150 watts, but something similar would do a similar job. They're specifically made plastic welding soldering irons uh, that would work for you. But like I said, I have this one. I'm gonna clean the area to be soldered really well. This is a lacquer thinner. You could use any solvent or alcohol or something. You just wanna make sure the area is clean. No contaminants are in there. So we're gonna melt it all together. We want it to be as close to the original material as possible. that's gonna do it all right so we're gonna just hold it together and do a little tack weld once this bad boy gets hot I'll melt everything together now I'm doing this outside so uh, breathe this stuff. We got lots of ventilation. And 
know, you might want to say, this is done, but it's not. Here's that big section, and uh, we're going to take this mesh and just smoosh it into the shape. We want it to match the curve as close as possible. Should be good. Okay, so get our tip nice and hot. See if we can melt this little mesh into the plastic. So now it's creating a permanent skeleton, basically. It's like adding rebar to concrete. Yeah, that's the good stuff there, you don't want to read that. Look at that, we can smooth the plastic out right on top. And we know it's not bending because that wire mesh is stiff and it's holding that original shape. Here up. So you can see the inside still has that crack. So now we're going to basically melt that whole section back to our structure. And we're just kind of pulling plastic from either side and blending them. It's a nice deep weld. Now we're gonna just pull some of that in and smooth it out. just barely touching it. It's like the heat is just concentrated in that one area. Now we got our little piece right here. And again, we're just gonna wait till it's hot. Push it in. Heat is transferring. And we're going in. You see it's come up through the, the mesh. You know you're doing good. Soak both sides with the heat and you see it settles right in. Just restructure this shape a little bit. This is where it mounts, so I don't want it really wonky. So we get both sides. to melt right in.
So the mesh was kind of like not wanting to push in all the way. So I put a piece of metal hammer down so we can have something to brace it. Now we're gonna be able to force that right on in. See how the plastics turn into liquid into there and the mesh is going right on through. Now we can reform this right on over. And that is embedded in there. That's gonna work out. This last little section, I'm gonna use a socket because it's tall enough and it gives me that support. We've got a little bend in there, so I'm gonna flatten that back out.
we can't say it's pretty, but it's in there. I'll let that harden up. Give it a test. All right, so give it a little flex test, a little stress. We're in business. It's not like this is a super structural part. It's just holding the headlights in place. So uh, I'll call that a success. Next time you see this, it'll be going on an install. All right, so this is where it's gonna mount. There's gonna be a screw here, a screw over here, and it's gonna mount to the headlights there and there. Um, if you found this useful for you, maybe learning to melt some plastic on your car, motorcycle, whatever, plastic parts, uh, please consider giving us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll bet you there's something else that might be interesting to you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.